She told him letting go wasn't an option. One Johnson County mother talked to us for the first time today since her son died in last week's flooding. Heather Blair says she and her sons, Heath, Tyler and Richard, were inside their home when water rushed in. Richard Blair had cerebral palsy and she says she tried everything she could do to save him. WYMT's Haley Minogue talked to Blair about how rescuers helped her in her time of need. Blair says that she had no idea the flooding was going to be as strong as it was. Next thing I know, the, wall, the, the walls just started coming in. The ceiling started falling in. Heather's 22-year-old son, Richard, had cerebral palsy. She says she will never forget the last time she saw him. And I just remember hollering, you know, Richard, Mommy is trying, Mommy's trying to get you, Richard, I'm trying to get you. And all I could see was his face, you know, his face was still out of the water. I sucked under again. And I come up again, and I go to look, and he's nowhere. Well, I knew right then. I knew right then. Blair had to gather the strength to focus on her other sons, Heath and Tyler, and try to save them. She feared that her youngest had drowned. I just remember I just looked up and I said, God, please, I can't, don't take two of my, my babies. Heather and her two other children made it through the flooding. She says her faith is now stronger than ever before. It was God thing. It was Richard's time to go home, I think, and maybe a couple of the others. Too. Losing a child is a whole nother level of pain. Like, I, I can't even describe it. I can't even. It just, uh, you feel like you're dying. In Johnson County, Haley Minogue, WYMT Mountain News. A funeral was held to honor Richard's life late last week. Heather Blair has been living in a hotel since she lost her home.